What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. A little bit different today. I know we talked about this very, very briefly on Overtime Friday night because I wanted to get more of a video geared towards it. I know there's probably about 10, 15 people, if not more, um, that watch the channel and the videos that do TTMs basically through the mail. So basically... You get addresses of a uh, athlete. Uh, I've even heard actors do it and stuff. You set a self, uh, well, SASE self-addressed stamped envelope or something. You know, you send them sometimes money. Some do it for free. I don't know how many really do it for free anymore. And you mail it off. They sign it. You get it back. It's you know, got their autograph. I know I haven't done something like that probably over 30 years. And I remember some people were like $5, $10 back then. And you used to have to go into a, I think it was Tough Stuff magazine because we didn't have internet back then. Imagine a time without internet, huh? Well, you had to give, I think it was like you sent a guy 10 or 20 bucks. And you got like this huge, massive list of all these guys that were doing TTMs. And you could mail them a card, and it would have, like, you had to send an SASE or whatever it may be um, for the person autograph and back and get back to you. Now, I remember we bought one list, and it had, oh, I bet you it had about 300 names on it through all kinds of sports. Insane. Me and my buddies are like, we should copy this list and <laughs> sell it ourselves, but then we figured we'd probably get in trouble somehow on to it, too. But anyhow, back more to this story here. Um, let me pull it up here. This came out of Sports Collectors Daily. So, Fred Young, linebacker for the Seahawks. Guy basically uh, got his card stuck in a top loader. And I've heard these, a lot of the athletes will take it out of the top loader, you know, do the autograph, but they won't stick it back in a top loader and mail it back to you. I've heard that a lot. But um, this guy here basically took the, uh, the card photocopied it, cut out the uh, photocopy of the card, autographed it, and sent it back. I never heard of that before. I mean, Grant, it's Fred Young, and it's not like it's an expensive card at all, and you still do get the autograph. But can you imagine somebody sending, like, Joe Montana or Cal Ripken, Ricky Henderson, somebody, something like their rookie card? To get it autographed and they get a photocopy back. You know how mad people would be? Because you're talking like a like a dollar card, basically, versus one that costs a little bit more than a dollar. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of you guys do the TTMs, like I said. I think there's around like maybe 10, 15 that I know. There's probably a lot more. I'm just curious if you guys heard this story. I'll put a link in the description. And if you guys do it, if you have any kind of interesting stories, too, please share. I know... There's stories of certain athletes that had their wives autographing and secretaries and managers or whatever they call them. Now, um, oh, I can't think of what I want, like personal assistants or whatever, um, doing the autographs for them, too. I mean, that that's always been going on. Heck, presidents used to have stuff done like that, too. But, yeah, please. If you got some interesting stories, feel free to share them in the comments. Everybody look through, take a look at them. Because uh, you guys might get some uh, good stories down there and just stuff that's happened like this. All right, everybody. Have a good Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take care.